Hello friends, this is C.A. Shalini Somani taking today's video on the topic Tax Planning through HUF. Friends, you must be wondering what is exactly tax planning? We have heard a lot about it. Well, let me tell you, tax planning means reducing your liabilities, tax liabilities in a given financial year but legally. Yes. It means you have to make the best possible use of the given exemptions and deductions in the Income Tax Act to reduce your tax liabilities in a given financial year. But how? Yes, it is through a price status of HUF, that is Hindu Undivided Family, which consists of a person, his wife, son and unmarried daughters. Friends, let me tell you that as per Hindu law, even Sikh, Indian Buddhist and Jain, these are considered Hindus which can form HUF. Various Supreme Court cases have clarified the constitution of HUF. For example, 60 ITR page 293 Gauli versus CIT, it was held by the Supreme Court that even a single male member is sufficient to constitute HUF. There is nowhere mentioned nor even in income tax provisions that you need to have at least two or more male members. Further, we can take even take Supreme Court case of Virappa Shetiar versus CIT where it was held that father and son died in an accident and the only widow was left in the HUF. In such case, you have a potential co-partner of HUF. That means, as soon as he, she remarries or adopts a son, the HUF again gets its karta. So, there is no need to dissolve HUF and HUF shall stand as it is. There is one interesting case of Guwahati High Court. The case of Junjunwala and Sons versus CIT where it was held that as soon as a man marries, immediately HUF is considered. They don't have to wait for a son or daughter to get the HUF constituted. We have one more case of Pala Subramaniam versus CIT, where it was held that if a donor gives gift like immovable property to HUF through his will, then any income received from such property shall be taxable in the hands of HUF and not any individual. Moving further, regarding doing business with HUF, it's very interesting to learn that HUF can be utilized by not only businessmen but even professionals. I will tell you but you have to watch this video whole. How do HUF does business? It can enter in partnership also. Like if there are three partners, partner A, B, C, and the third partner is an HUF, he has to bring capital contribution from the corpus fund of HUF. Since capital contributed is from corpus fund of the HUF, any interest income received or profit earned from such partnership shall be taxable in the hands of HUF and not individual. Further, HUF can receive all types of commission except those which are earned by individual efforts. For example, in case of commission. However, there are exemptions, two exceptions. In the case of tell predator agent, where agent has to give guarantee. A guarantee can be given by corpus of the HUF. If guarantee is given by HUF corpus, then the commission received shall be taxable in the hands of HUF. Second case, it's when the business is of stock brokerage firm. Yes, in such case, commission can be received in HUF firm. Now moving further, I told you that even professionals can use this HUF status. For example, if you are a CA or doctor, as a CA, you must be required to purchase office for practicing, then you must obtain office in the name of HUF and then rent it out to yourself. Similarly, doctors can take hospital or clinic which they want to open for themselves and then take it on rent from the HUF. 
it's a very effective tax planning tool friends then moving further let me tell you about daughter status as per hindu succession act 2005 it was introduced that daughter should have the same status just like as of son so daughters even daughters from the commencement of hindu succession act 2005 are given the same status as that of son means they are they are member of huf from their birth they stay member of the family till their marriage and even after their marriage they stay daughter so they do have membership in father's huf if they want to re renunciate their rights they can give a declaration on stamp paper that they don't they are they know more no more interested in those rights of her father's huf moving further one very effective tool of tax planning through huf is family arrangement this is to avoid litigations and penalties when there are cases of disputes or claims among family members yes there are two most important prerequisites for family arrangement it requires a dispute and claims from members of the huf family what is exactly this family arrangement it is very simple it is some mutually agreed deed or you can say a court degree which settles this dispute or they can apply for an arbitrator basically it is to restore peace among the family members of huf do you think this i am talking about a transfer no family arrangement is not a transfer hence it does not arises capital gain so in this way you effectively save capital gains then friends you might be wondering how is it effective yes you can affect it orally also but if you affect it written then stamp charges shall be applied shall be applied but if you have to uh, if you want to avoid the stamp charges what you can do is you can have memorandum of arrangement yes or panchnama registered with the registering authority which shall be a valid proof that you have entered in a family arrangement now what are types of family arrangement the main popular most popular family arrangement is hodgepodge of properties once you collect all the properties belonging to either huf or individuals in the family belonging to huf just bring together all the properties on one table and then they divide among those family members as per the mutually agreed deed this is known as family arrangement it is a great way to effect and bring not only peace among family disputes but also a very effective tax planning tool for more such videos just subscribe me and keep watching